Welcome back to the AL.com Film Room. I'm Matt Scalisi here with John Parker Wilson. We're going to be talking about Alabama's SEC opener this weekend against Ole Miss. And I think the biggest question on everybody's minds, John Parker, is, is Jake Coker ready for this big stage? Is he ready to face an SEC defense? Yeah, it is a huge question. I, th I think he is. I think after having the big game against Wisconsin, now kind of a tune-up against Middle Tennessee State, he's had some good plays. He's had some things to – to, uh, that he can go back and, and learn from. But I, but I think he's been in, in enough situations and, and seen enough defenses to be ready. I think his supporting cast for the running game, uh, the, the number of receivers that we have in the defense are playing really well. So I look for him to go out there and have a good game. And um, you know, it'll be exciting to see the, the kickoff for the first uh, SEC game. Well, let's take a look at a couple of plays where Jake Coker was looking maybe at his best, looking sharp enough to compete with this Ole Miss defense from this past week's game against Middle Tennessee State. All right, to start off, we're going to look at Jake Hooker's first touchdown pass in this game to Robert Foster. All right, this has become a big part of the offense, and that's the quick screens. It, it supplements the run game. It allows the receivers to get the ball in their hand quick uh, to make a play. So to start off right here, we'll see the immediate respect for the two linebackers uh, with a fake to Derrick Henry. They're immediately gone. They're out of the play. Uh, the next part, we'll see a Darius Stewart right here um, have to make a quick decision on who he's going to block. So right now his job is to block the most dangerous defender, and that's going to be this nickel corner right here. He does a great job of getting up on him quick and setting the wall, allowing Mullaney to come over um, and put a good block on the receiver or on the cornerback, allowing the receiver, uh, Robert Foster, to just get downfield and make a, make a nice explosive play. And this is something we've seen from Alabama this year and last year and definitely will continue to be a part of the mix. Um, you know, to open up that running game. Coker does a good job right here of getting the ball out of his hands quick and, and letting him get downfield. So the quicker he can get the ball to the receivers, the easier it is to block and then to, to make the explosive play. John Parker, we talked about O.J. Howard and how important a weapon we thought he was going to be for this offense this season. A big play here for Howard in this game. Yeah, this is a big play, and I love this play for a lot of reasons. So the running game is obviously going to be the biggest part of our offense with Derrick Henry. So what do we do? We, we fake him the ball. The next thing you usually do off of, of a fake is run a bootleg. So it usually gets all the offense flowing this way. The defense kind of sees Coker rolling out. Um, and this is just, I think, a great play call by, by Lane Kiffin. He lets him pull up, set the pocket. Nice winner does a good job of sealing, uh, sealing the edge right here. And Coker, you can see him going through his reads, trying to find the open guy. Finally finds Howard downfield, who is and has been a big part of this offense so far. Makes a good job of getting upfield. And we'll see from the other angle just kind of how this play develops and unfolds um, throughout the, with, with the connection to the running game. So right here, we'll see, we'll put it in slow-mo. Um, and you can kind of see where typically the, the play would want to go. So we got a guy clearing out, and, and this is the typical bootleg right here. So instead of us keeping on the bootleg, uh, what Kevin does is, is change the launch angle of the quarterback, and Howard, who usually would be taking across the field, this time pulls back. We got Calvin Ridley clearing out the safety, and it allows him to, to make a nice big zone right here, and all Coker has to do is throw it over the corner, does a great job of throwing a touch pass right over the guy, a big explosive play right here to get us on their, their end of the field. All right, let's take a look at the Ole Miss offense, what Alabama's going to be going up against. One of the things they do so well in this offense has been kind of Alabama's kryptonite the last couple of years, these quick slant passes. Um, let's take a look at a, at a really successful one from Ole Miss's game last week. Definitely. So there's a lot going on right here. Um, we're going to see uh, a typical kind of um, four verticals, what we see, but they, they build in a swing pass that really is going to throw off the defense and end up uh, springing the guy free for the touchdown. Uh, you'll see the running back coming out of backfield, and he takes this nickel back right here and the DB, and you can see them both get caught up. Their eyes get caught in the backfield, and when this happens, it allows the middle guy to spring free. Right here, right here, the nickel's gone. He's out of the play, so he doesn't have to avoid the nickel guy. And then as soon as the safety, his eyes get caught on the swing pass, it gives the receiver just enough time to get inside. And then Chad Kelly, uh, he shows a lot of swagger right here, throwing a ball on the money, a uh, really good ball for the touchdown. And, and with, the, with the swing play, it's just a very – looks like a simple play, but a lot going on. A lot of our defense is going to have to focus on the secondary. <laughs>